morning gang welcome back to the channel and we're back in the Volvo not that we wouldn't be and what a fabulous day it is wow apart from the weather of course it was really funny I put off filming Monday and Tuesday because they were going to be wet and miserable Wednesday was forecast to be lovely What's happened? Pouring with rain again, misty, wet, grey, nastiness. But we're not going to let it dampen our day. Uh, you joined me on the M25. We've been going for a few hours now. Uh, well, two hours actually. Just over. I wasn't going to film earlier because it was very dark and there was just no point at all. Uh, we left the yard this morning at 5 o'clock, 5 hour 5, something like that. And we are on our way to Cambridge for a 10 o'clock drop. Our target time so far is 9 o'clock. So we're allowing for a little bit of traffic, but if we get there early, we get there early. Uh, we're just going past Heathrow now, so slowed down a little bit. It was expected. Always is. I would like to have been up here a little bit earlier at this time, so we didn't get quite so much traffic, but... There goes Gampy Choosers. So we've got half of the load coming off of Cambridge. And then we've got to go all the way up to Barnsley where we are dropping the remainder of our load. in a moment not quite sure what that is but I think it's where they repositioned one of the pallets uh, I don't think I quite realise it's stuck out the uh, stuck out the curtain a little bit so now we have Barnsley We need to have a 45 minute break before then. Just trying to work out my times. It's two hours 45 to Barnsley, so with an hour's break. Uh, should be there for two, two o'clock without traffic. an hour earlier than booked because we booked in at three o'clock. Lovely job. I'm quite sure what happened to my voice there. Anyway, I'm going to pull in air and see what's going on with this curtain.
service is done. Managed to get my favourite McDonald's coffee. Feel on top of the world now. Phone the customer. Managed to get a rough location of where I'm going to be, which is completely different to the paperwork. So I'm glad that I give them a bell. Another top tip for you. Always phone the customer. I always do anyway. Because even if you've got the correct address, they'll probably be able to talk you into a much easier route. Uh, and it just so happens that the address that I have is nowhere near their compound where my load is going. So, saved a bit of time there because I would have turned up at the wrong place and been sent somewhere else and all around the houses. And it's a city centre or a town centre drop, so it wouldn't have been easy. Whereas this route into where their compound is is much easier, it's just off the main road. So. We should be good. Right, it's coming into Barnsley now. I don't know why I say Barnsley with an accent. Barnsley got an accent? Who knows? Anyway, this is the part that gets me the most nervous. It's the part where I've just come off the motorway and I'm pulling into a strange town, trying to find my drop location. So if I go a bit quiet, it's because I've got my concentration face on, but I'm always hyper alert when I start coming into these sort of areas. I'm watching every sign, I'm reading every sign, I'm looking at everything on the road and making sure I'm not going to get myself into trouble. Obviously check with the customer where I'm going. I've checked Google Maps, I've checked Street View, my sat nav is taking me exactly to the road that I need to be on. But I don't trust none of them. Until I'm actually there and I've stopped, I'm always hyper alert. I think it stems back to when I first passed my test and uh, I did get myself into a few situations that were a bit tricky, almost got myself stuck down country lanes and in town centres trying to find things. And it's just made me sort of hyper aware of what I'm doing and where I'm going and double checking. And, which I suppose isn't a bad thing, but when you're in this job, almost everywhere you go is new. So take a long, long time to get used to it. Hopefully I'll get used to it and it won't be so bad, but yeah. This is a pit that I don't like. I think we're about, according to the sat now, we're about three minutes away from our drop. So it shouldn't be very far away. Hopefully the sat is going to take us straight there. On the fourth exit here. Sticking on the 628 through Barnsley. pedestrian crossing. Be careful, there's a car coming down there. City people. Stare at me as if I thought it was a red light. 
is looking at me as if to say, why did you stop? Because otherwise I was going to block the crossing. And then if the light did go red, you wouldn't be able to cross. She didn't look for the little red man. No. Come on, come on, come on. No. Busy roundabout. I can go now. Go, 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 go. Car up the inside, quite tight. First exit. Second exit. Third exit. Fourth exit. So what we want. on the sat nav. Ah yeah I can see I remember seeing this now on Google Maps. And does that say there's a height restriction? I bloody hope not. I know I'm dropping down there and going left. I, I can see a height restriction sign that's getting me prickles up on my back. some sort of storage yard but right let's make some phone calls to see what's going on drop was done we got there at court no 23 was offloaded in half an hour I am now just trying to find my way back to the A1 trying to find somewhere to fuel trying to find somewhere to sleep so we can make a collection in Gaul tomorrow morning. Just the fueling and trying to find sleep options are limited at the moment. But I'm sure we'll get there.
it's five o'clock and we are done for the day. Fabulous. Find a nice little lay-by. Got a garage and a shop. Two minutes away. So, really handy. I should be staying here for the night. We're about 40 minutes from my collection in the morning. I'll get there for about half past six, get loaded, so we'll leave here about quarter past five-ish. That gives us a good 12 hours to twiddle our thumbs. Anyway, we've got, we've got to load up and there's four drops, I believe, on this collection. We're going to try and make two of them tomorrow, back down in Christchurch, so where we're heading anyway, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to nip to the shop, come back, make myself a cup of coffee, have some tea, put the TV on, go sleep. I know I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I'm not sure how much you can see of me. It's still a bit dark. It is just after six o'clock. We are making our way up to Ghoul. Had a beautiful night's sleep. 12 hours. It didn't seem like 12 hours. I had seven hours sleep, 12 hours parked. Which was quite nice. Chance to watch a movie. And then have a good seven hours sleep, which was, uh, I think I needed that. Only what you gonna do tonight. This is what we came for. Let's find out what we're made of tonight. The way you rock the dance floor. I can feel your heartbeat. We're finally out of there, half past nine. Time to get here just before seven. Uh, don't know why it takes so long in there. It's crazy. We've got two drops to do in Christchurch. We're not even going to be down there until three o'clock. Uh, First of all, we've got to get fuel. Maybe add blue if we can. And look, you'll be nice to, uh, it's nice to know that it's gray, miserable and drizzling. Still, again. Right better get on the road and get cracking otherwise we're never going to get home tonight
On the A34, stop for a half hour break and clear our driving time. And it's been an interesting trip down. Now I knew we were gonna have four, well, four different drops on this trailer. Um, two for Christchurch, two for Paul. I wanted to get the Christchurch ones out of the way because I knew that after I'd done the Christchurch ones, I was going to be dropping the trailer back at the yard and the rest of the delivery is going to be made tomorrow. So, because I was going to be dropping the trailer, I don't want too much weight on the front with the curtain side. It tends to make it bow a little bit and uh, it can be a little bit of a struggle. So, what I asked them to do was put one Christchurch right on the front and one Christchurch right on the back. So that once they're off, there's a nice balance load in the middle for when I unhitch the trailer back at the yard. This is where the problems begin. Because you only know how many pallets you've got, but you don't actually know what they are. So they loaded all the pallets. It's one of the places where you can't get out, you can't look, you can't see. So. Uh, I just had to wait until after they loaded it. Once they loaded it, I got out and had a look, went to strap it, and I realized that everything back from the front to the axles on the trailer was very light, feather light pallets of boxed goods. And I didn't really question it. I thought, well, yeah, there's not really a balanced load, but it should be okay. And beyond that, over the rear wheels and the tail of the trailer was six pallets of aggregate and packs of, um, what do you call them? Slabs and stuff like that. Okay, so I strapped it all up. Thought it was a bit, a bit uneven, but, and it was when I was starting to pull out of their yard and every time I tried to pull away, it spanned the wheels up on the unit. Hmm, something strange here. And I, I got out onto the dual carriageway and I got to the limiter at 56. Feel the trailer mm, wagging its tail like a, an excited puppy. So then I knew that I'd made a mistake. But no, it's been interesting. Um, obviously none of the axles or anything are overweight, it's just the weight distribution is terrible. Because although they followed my instructions of where I wanted what load, I didn't actually think about how heavy it was going to be and where the weight was going to be distributed. Because they could have just told me, look, I've been putting this on, you've got a lot of weight on the back and not a lot on the front. And I would have said, okay, that's fine, just stick the heavy stuff in the middle and I'll work it out when I get down there. No, but you learn every day and it's stuff like this that I like and you know I enjoy learning so I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna learn from it and next time we'll know to watch them when they're loading and how much of an effect the weight being right over the back is gonna have on the unit so I've had to keep the speed right down and take it really easy round roundabouts and stuff like that just to just to ensure that we're not gonna do anything silly so it's taking us a little bit longer to get down I think we're only gonna be able to get one of the Christchurch ones off and I, I'm gonna go to the place that's got the heaviest stuff and get that off so then we won't have any more trailer problems hopefully or any more balance issues. Looks like we're gonna get there about four o'clock. So like I say, I don't think we'll get the second one off, but what can you do? You live and learn.
get one of the Christchurch off, but too late for the other one. They won't take it. And believe it or not, they won't take any deliveries till nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get one of the pole ones off and then shoot over, get the other Christchurch one off and then do the second pull drop. Yeah, all good fun. So I'm just gonna make my way back to the yard now. And that's us done for the day. It's 20 past five. We are seven miles from the yard, but a fair bit of traffic, I think. I've right, got to try and get out between these cars. Certainly don't make it easy. silence, concentrating. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's a delivery access road. You wouldn't have thought it. Parked up for the evening. Join me from my car on the way home. That well, wasn't a bad couple of days. A bit busy. I think tomorrow, being Friday, is going to be busy as well. But I hope you had fun. It's good to have you with me. I want to give you guys some value, so why don't you let me know in the comments? something that you think would be helpful to you that you'd be able to get some value from uh, so yeah it'd be great if you could let me know I think that's all I've got to say so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe for plenty more just like it and I will look forward to seeing you guys next week Yay!